Ruiz. Here's a look at the big picture right now. That boundary we've been talking about still just stalled out over the area. And so storms didn't come nearly as far north as we thought they would today, but it is going to eventually lift to the north tomorrow. And that's when we'll have a better shot for some thunderstorms. Now tonight we are going to have to watch for some storms coming out of Texas. And if they hold together, they could move into our area early tomorrow. If they don't, then we're still expecting storms but more so in the afternoon. Here's a look at the radar at the moment. We have a couple of storms south of I-10. Those have cleared. 95 feels like 99. We're seeing a good amount of sunshine out there. We'll still hold about a 20% chance for rain through the evening. We're mostly dry overnight. Temperatures will dip down into the mid 70s. Not going to be as comfortable, but still not all too unbearable. So high temperatures tomorrow, low and mid 90s, depending on how quickly and where storms develop tomorrow. But it's still going to feel like the triple digits, but we're starting to slowly see those feels like temperatures coming up. Best chance for rain will come in the afternoon and then fading closer to about sunset. The Storm Prediction Center actually placed the entire area under a level one risk for severe weather tomorrow. Not to say it's for sure going to happen, but we could have a couple of intense, maybe severe thunderstorms, damaging winds, as well as large hail would be our main concern. If you're going out on the water, that's certainly something to keep in mind. Wave heights about one to two feet. Got to watch for storms because winds could pick up. There could be a couple of uh, water spouts out there as well. So not the best of boating days, but you should at least get by if that storm complex does not move in early in the morning, which our in-house model is showing that moving in early, but then really clipping the area. But watch what happens into the afternoon storms just fire up near the 10 and 12 corridor, but then they begin to fade closer to sunset and then we're dry into our Sunday. But us being dry, that means our heat is going to crank up. And it's all because of this really, really intense ridge just over Mexico and Texas. All that heat is going to spread to the east as this ridge begins to expand and push to the east next week. And each day likely going to get hotter and our rain chances are going to be very low. So here's a look at ahead. Sunday 98 pushing 100 degrees next week, likely going to have excessive heat mornings. And this is why. Check out those feels like temperatures into next week. Highs near 100 degrees, but you factor in the humidity, that's very dangerous heat. So that's going to be something we're going to be watching very carefully. So again, each day getting hotter and the high humidity is not going to help. Meanwhile, in the tropics, we have tropical storm Brett. That's going to fizzle over the weekend. And then Cindy is also going to weaken, not going to be of any concern for us, at least not for now, and certainly not going to be anytime soon. So here's a look at the seven day forecast. As I mentioned, we're heating up and no relief really, because overnight temperatures will be in the 70s and 80s each day, starting possibly as early as Tuesday. We could top out near 100 degrees.